Hi, I'm Travis Close, and we are here today with Angela Roper at the International Towing and Recovery Museum, and we're going to give you a tour of the facility. So I noticed whenever I pulled up, there was a big wall outside. Tell me about that. That's our memorial wall for the Wall of the Fallen, uh, people who are killed in the line of duty. Tow truck operators, we lose about 60 a year, which a lot of people don't realize. Being responders on the side of the roadway, you know, we're out there, and, and so we think we need to pay homage to those, so we put their names on the wall, the ones that, that you know, qualify for that, and so we, yeah. Um, it's a very somber occasion. We actually put new names on the wall every September during our big function that we have. Okay. Uh, this year so far, as of right now, we have 29 names going on there, and there's 356 already. Wow. You kind of enter through the gift shop, mm -hmm. and then you've got a couple cool trucks here on display. Mm -hmm. um, I guess just walk us through the place. Tell us a little bit about well, it. Well, it is. It's our, it's our gift shop. We have our cashier station where you can check in. We ask everybody to register, and then you go into the actual theater. And we show you a short five-minute clip, and as you exit the museum, you come around into this, this gift shop where you have T-shirts, coffee cups, you have Tomater, memorabilia, you have everything. And then you have, of course, the Model T and the Packard that we have. Right. So this is kind of in how we end our tour of being in the museum. So uh, tell me a little bit about this area of the museum. What is this? This is our Hall of Fame, where we induct people into the Hall of Fame every year, usually in September, the second, first or, uh, second or third weekend. Mm -hmm. um, and they have to follow a criteria. Uh, a member of the museum usually will nominate them. It goes before a committee. And then they're selected, and we put them on the wall. Oh, it's a great honor. And these are members not just local. I mean, I see Kentucky, Ontario. We have them from all over the world. Yes, because we're an international museum, right. so we cover everywhere. Yes, they are from all over. So tell me about some of the criteria to get inducted into the hall. Well, one thing is you have to be a pillar of your community. You, know, okay. you have to have community service work done in or something good for your town that you, you represent. One, uh, you also have to be able to... Um, have done something great for the industry or for your state associ towing association or nationally. Something to where you've stood out and made a difference in the community uh, towing industry. Okay. Are there any local folks on the wall? Oh gosh, yes. We have um, Bill Miller from Miller Industries right. actually is on here. Um, Randy Olson, who's actually the uh, Vice President of Marketing, is uh, from Miller Industries also. Mm -hmm. Several local people are on here. Uh, mm -hmm. George Conley, he has been with the museum. He actually is one of the first people that started it. He's actually been inducted and he lives here part time and then has a towing business in Colorado also. Okay. So we have people from all over. Cool. So in September, how many will you be adding to the Hall of Fame? There'll be nine members going into the hall in September. It's the second week in September, September 10th, 11th, and 12th. We do a grand banquet induction. And then um, Thursday night this year on the 10th, we're actually having a birthday party for the museum because the museum has now been in a solid structure since 1995. We actually started downtown Chattanooga and we had to have a bigger facility. So we bought this building and we moved in here in 2003. So we've been actually here at this location since 2003. So we're having a birthday party for the museum on cool. Thursday night. Friday night we have a big benefit where you meet and greet all the inductees, but we also have an auction. So it raises, it's a, it's a great fundraiser for the museum. Uh, on Friday night and then Saturday night is our actual when we do our inducting of the members of the Hall of Fame. So I guess this is the highlight of the tour. It is. Um, it is. Tell me a little bit about something about this one here behind us. Oh 1979. It's the fastest tow truck ever. It was at the Talladega Speedway. It was donated to us by Miller Industries um, several years ago. So we that's a big prize when everybody likes to look at this because it's got a 454 in that baby. And then over here, we have a replica of the first tow truck ever made. Um, it does sit on a 1913 Cadillac, but the actual wrecker bed is a 1916, and he patented it in 1918. So that is a Chattanooga-built um, wrecker. And this was the first patent? It was the first patent. This is a replica of the right. actual first truck. It actually runs, drives. The man who owns it actually has, it's on loan to us, so he actually has the uniform, the little hat, everything that he wears <laughs> in it. So. It's a prize to us to be able to have it on, on loan to All us. Right. This is the most modern that you have on display. Tell us a little bit about it versus the first tow truck. Well, it's a saw. 1995 model. It's a Jordan um, truck that we have that's on been on loan to us. Uh, hydraulics, you have um, two inches on it, under reach. Uh, this is a great piece of machinery that we have that can tow a lot of big trucks, semis out on the roadway. And so we've evolved a great deal from over here, the 1913 
1916 model to the 1995 model. And we have various, you know, year models in here, but this is the newest one that we have so far. All right, so for those people that are interested in coming down to the museum, uh, do you have a website? We do. It's um, www.towingmuseum.com. Okay. We're open Monday through Sunday, uh, 9 to 5, uh, Monday through Saturday, and then Sunday it's 11 to 5. Uh, it's ten dollar admission fee unless you know we have discounts for seniors, AAA, military, and then children under a certain age get in free. Um, so yeah, we'd love to have everybody come down. Absolutely. And what's a good phone number for them to call if they have any questions? It is four two three two six seven three one three two. Angel, thank you for having us today, and we appreciate you showing us around and informing us of the museum. Well, gosh, it's a pleasure. Thanks for coming out, and just keep coming. Send more people. We will. <laughs> That wraps up the local feature this month. Thank you for joining us.